the Los Angeles Lakers still have two remaining open roster spots, and many fans are advocating for the front office to swing for the fences and go for a big name like Bobo as part of a high risk, high reward move. While that may be an intriguing idea, the reality is that Bobo, at the end of the day, was waived by the rebuilding Orlando Magic for a reason, and if he can't mesh with a team that has so much time on their side, it'd almost be impossible for Bobo to continue his development under a bright lights and scrutiny of a Los Angeles Lakers team that's looking to win a championship as soon as possible. That doesn't mean the Los Angeles Lakers shouldn't look to continue with their theme of going younger, but at the very least, they should be looking to fill in their remaining roster spots with polished talents who would be able to not only impact the game immediately, but are also able to contribute with very little margin for error at the same time as well. Fortunately, it seems like the Los Angeles Lakers have once again found a promising candidate from their summer league roster, who is currently on a two-way contract in undrafted prospect Colin Castleton. Since the moment he was signed immediately following the draft, it was questioned as to whether or not Colin Castleton's fundamentally sound, well-rounded game on both ends of the floor would be transferable at the next level where it's more physical. It's a valid concern because he'll be going up against older and more stronger centers, but from our small sample size so far, Castleton's most definitely trending in the right direction in just his first actions as an NBA player. Not many are aware, but Colin Castleton has already shown plenty of flashes of being the most complete player of his draft class, coming fresh off a couple of summer league performances where he absolutely stuffed the stat sheet and put up 18 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, and 4 blocks against the San Antonio Spurs, and then followed that up with 13 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, and 1 block against the Golden State Warriors. All was done in a seemingly effortless manner, considering how efficient he was, as he has so far proved to be a complete package and a true jack of all trades. Castleton's polishness, maturity, and reliability to make the right plays is truly a rare sight to see for rookies, but keep in mind Castleton is an older prospect for this past draft class at 23 years old, and he spent 5 years in college honing in his skills which has clearly paid off. Up until this point, the career trajectory of Colin Castleton along with fan favorite Austin Reeves Summer League performance have been nearly identical, and should this continue for the rest of the Las Vegas Summer League, it's almost a no-brainer that Colin Castleton is a superior option to whichever free agent remains on the open market. The scary part is that Colin Castleton might just be getting started, considering several of his teammates haven't been doing him any favors of knocking down the long-range ball, specifically teammates Maxwell Lewis, the Lakers 40th overall pick, and the Lakers 17th overall pick, Jalen Hood Shafino. Clearly, Castleton has still been able to find a way to be more than impactful, and he makes the most out of every single possession, which is exactly what we'll be discussing in today's video. But on top of that, we'll also be advocating as to why Colin Castleton must be the Lakers' top priority as one of the front office's remaining signings to complete the roster. Additionally, we've already touched upon the reasonings as to why Mason Plumlee might just be the most accurate player comparison out there for Colin Castleton, but in just a matter of a handful of summer league games, such a player comparison might have been a severe understatement and it may already be time to upgrade what Colin Castleton's ceiling could be. But before we get into what Colin Castleton's new player comparison should be, let me know down in the comment section below how would you like Rob Plink in the front office to finalize the roster. Before we even talk about Colin Castleton's highly underrated playmaking abilities, as a legitimate point center capable of running a team's offense for short spurts as a secondary playmaker, fans who've seen Castleton in action would have to agree that's a refreshing sign to see a 7-footer wearing the purple and gold, who also happens to possess a soft touch around a basket. Last season, the Lakers started out the year with above-the-rim athlete Damian Jones, and immediately he got yanked out of rotation due to his lack of fluidity to his game, his underwhelming decision-making, and one-dimensionalness as strictly a rim runner who aspires to be a floor spacer. Not having a soft touch around a basket has really backfired on the impact of many past Lakers centers, not only Damian Jones, but Andre Drummond along with DeAndre Jordan as well. Colin Castleton on the other hand, on top of his lanky and athletic 6'11 frame with a 7'4 wingspan, he has an impressive back to the basket game which he should be able to get off against most opponents and his soft floaters makes it even more difficult for defenses to contain him. Colin Castleton provides a nice contrast to the most recent signing of Jackson Hayes, who is more of an athletic jump out of the gym athlete who plays a frantic pedal to the metal pace, for better or worse, and is still very much prone to making poor decisions on the court. With Castleton, he provides an additional dimension as a dangerous roller to the basket who opposing teams would have to consider as not only a lob threat, but someone who could stop and pop and most importantly track down his open teammates who might have the better look. 
Having a young, lanky, and quick center like Colin Castleton paired alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis is going to lead to plenty of quality looks for the incoming rookie, but the fact that Castleton's extremely comfortable operating as a secondary playmaker will only further enhance his impact on his team with how he can elevate whatever unit he's on the court with. That's how Mason Plumlee was able to make a 10-year career without needing to have off-the-charts athleticism, a vast offensive bag, or being a defensive juggernaut. His playstyle is simplistic as he sticks to his bread and butter, all while using his well-rounded game to fill in whatever holes are needed to be filled by his team. As mentioned at the start of the video though, just from what fans have been seeing from Castleton during Summer League so far, the case could already be made that Castleton's skill sets on par if not better than Plumlee's, especially if we were to compare with them coming in as rookies. With that said, there's plenty of reason to believe that Colin Castleton, if he's able to not only sustain this level of production, but become even more dangerous with more weapons around him, there would definitely be a world where a young Marcus Saul would make for a better player comparison for the ceiling of Colin Castleton as opposed to Mason Plumlee. For one, Castleton's back to the basket game and footwork is the overlooked area of his game that allows him to generate quality looks on offense against a mismatch just like Marcus Saul would do and unlike Mason Plumlee. For most, if not all, of Plumlee's career, he's strictly been a rim runner whose only other source of contribution is cleaning up the glass on second chance opportunities. Lakers rookie Colin Castleton has already proved his offensive bag is well beyond that because he already possesses a post game mid range jumper and is able to manipulate his defender with a soft touch around a the basket. Then, obviously, Castleton's strongest attribute that he shares with Marcus Saul would be the fact that both are a rare breed of playmaking point centers who can run a team's offense at the top of their key, not necessarily at the level of Denver Nuggets superstar Nikola Jokic, but they're both good enough to the point where it really wreaks havoc on the opposing team's defense with how they're able to look over the defense and exploit every miscommunication on the floor. Pair an underrated and overlooked playmaker like Colin Castleton alongside high IQ superstars of the likes of LeBron James, who made great strides as an off-ball contributor this past season, and an Anthony Davis who the front office reportedly discussed playing more power forward again. Castleton would be in prime position to catch opponents off guard for inevitably sleeping on the undrafted 23-year-old prospect. So let me know down in the comment section below, do you believe Colin Castleton should be Los Angeles Lakers next signing as a backup center behind Anthony Davis and Jackson Hayes? If not, who do you guys want to see the Lakers sign to complete their roster? But that's it for a video, take it easy guys. My growth is getting better. I draft, I, if, if your name didn't get called, was this where you wanted to end up? Was that already in your mind before that or was that kind of more of a spur of the moment thing? Um, yeah, we had we had talks about it before um, my agent. I just talked to him about you know landing spots if things didn't go as planned, like getting picked or you know drafted. So um, you know we had talks about that. There were opportunities, but you know, I wanted to come here and be a Laker, so that was just the biggest thing for me. Through Aaron, did you talk to Austin at all in the pre-draft process, just about yeah. that process in general and the Lakers? Um, yeah, you know Aaron, Aaron was telling me everything Austin went through, um, his whole process, and I kind of like shadowed that a little bit, you know, going through my process, working out with the same trainer, same regimen, stuff like that. So just um, learning the same, you know, process he went through and what he's about to, you know, earn and stuff like that. So um, being able just to go through the same processes, Austin, I talked to him a little bit, but you know, he's busy um, going through a lot of stuff with Team USA, which right. is like a good accomplishment. So. Um, we talked a little bit briefly, but he was just telling me to keep going um, and just keep working. Do you know 